subtraction with borrow. The concept of borrowing while subtracting three digit numbers. Subtract 5 from 43. We write the numbers one below the other to subtract. We write the place values. Now we look at the numbers in the units place. We cannot do 3 minus 5. So we need to borrow. Let's draw beads and show 43. We take 110 and add it to the units. So we have 3 tens and 13 units. Let's write that in the numbers too. Now we can subtract the units. Let's take away 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many units are left? 8. Let's subtract the tens. We have 3 tens. 3 tens minus 0 tens is 3 tens. And we get our answer, which is 38. Subtract 148 from 436. We write the numbers one below the other to subtract. We write the place values. Now, we look at the numbers in the units place. We cannot do 6 minus 8. So, we need to borrow. Let's first draw symbols for 436. We draw 4 hundreds, 3 tens and 6 units. Then, we break a 10 and add it to the units. Let's make the changes in the numbers too. Then, we subtract the units. 16 minus 8 is 8. Now we have to subtract the tens. 2 minus 4 is not possible. So we borrow from the hundreds. Let's do it in the numbers too. Then we subtract the hundreds and get the final answer. So 436 minus 148 is equal to 288. It is not possible to keep drawing pictures all the time. So let's do it only with the numbers. Subtract 138 from 625. We write the numbers one below the other to subtract. We write the place values. Now we look at the numbers in the units place. We have to borrow. Then we break a 10 and add it to the units. Then we subtract the units. Now we have to subtract the tens. So we borrow from the hundreds. Then we subtract the hundreds and get the final answer which is 487. Subtract 247 from 583. We write the numbers one below the other to subtract. We write the place values. Now, we look at the numbers in the units place. We have to borrow. Then we break a 10 and add it to the units. Then we subtract the units. Now, we have to subtract the tens. Then, we subtract the hundreds and get the final answer, 336. Subtract 237 from 406. We write the numbers one below the other to subtract. We write the place values. Now, we look at the numbers in the units place. We have to borrow. We have to borrow from the tens place. But there is a zero there. So there is nothing to borrow. So we borrow from the hundreds place. The hundreds place can give to the tens place, not the units place. So we borrow and add it to the tens. Then we borrow from the tens 
and add it to the units. Then we subtract the units. Now we have to subtract the tens. Then we subtract the hundreds and get the final answer which is 169. Subtract 482 from 700. We write the numbers one below the other to subtract. We write the place values. Now we look at the numbers in the units place. We have to borrow. We have to borrow from the tens place. But there is a zero there. So there is nothing to borrow. So we borrow from the hundreds place. The hundreds place can give to the tens place, not the units place. So we borrow and add it to the tens. Then we borrow from the tens and add it to the units. Then we subtract the units. Now we have to subtract the tens. Then we subtract the hundreds and get the final answer. Did you understand how to do subtraction with borrow? Yes? That's great!